All right, let's apply the Aztec pattern to the pylons. What you're gonna need for this one is this page here, page 12, and also sheet 21. Sheet 21 has some gray masks on it, and that's what you can use to place over these areas that you probably already pre-painted with a blue. These you don't need the clear mask on, you just gotta place them. There's no real place to start with these, you just kind of get them started and lay them in place. I said that's just to cover up the pre-paint you already have on this. And this piece right here. Okay. Now we move on. Okay, so for step two will be Right in here, that's on sheet seven. This is your mask pattern right here. Okay, this is the pattern off of sheet number seven. I already have the clear on it. Uh, we'll get to putting this on. Okay, for this sheet, we're gonna start right down in this corner here, along the bottom, running along this paint line. Smooth it all out. Now, this pattern we just put on, this mask, uh, it contains all of the lightning bolts for all of the all of the colors, the yellow, the green, and the blue. Uh, I was working with trying to get three different patterns masks, but what was happening is if you don't actually lay it on the right place, they, they look a little funny because they're overlapping each other. So, I decided we'll do it with one. All right, let's continue on. We're gonna go to step two here. We're gonna be actually removing some of the mask and painting our gold. I've gone ahead and I put a couple marks on the ones that I wanna remove. You probably only have to do this for the first step because once you bring the gray in, it'll make it a lot easier to, uh, to see what you're doing. So let's get to uh, removing some of these uh, masks. Again, bring in some scrap paper. Let's just start on this one. I'm just gonna remove some of these. Don't really need them after this because we'll be installing the gray mask, but it'll kind of give you an idea. All right, so let's bring in sheet number 23, and the one we're going to be working on will be this one right here. So we can just start. Once we painted uh, the gold, we'll we'll cover this up, cover the gold up with these gray strips, the gray masks. Okay, and you can just continue on with uh, repainting your gold and replacing them all with gray. And then when you've got all that done, you can move on to your step three blue and your step four green. And you can see once you get all the all your uh, all these gray pieces on, pulling or weeding these ones off will be a lot easier. All right, well that finishes that side. All right, we'll lay up the inboard side of the pylons. Uh, cut my pieces out of sheet nine and there's three sections that need to go on um, but first I think you'll be painting all this in the green going back to the modeler paint guide there'll be the two different two or three different shades of green and then there'll be the dark green outline I've kind of given you the center one here that will help you out for that uh, green outline but let's lay this up and I'll show you what I'm talking about alright so the very first piece I would put on would be the one that runs right up to center and it started here on the bottom and center between the two um, the two lines of the pylon. That'll help you set up for the, the dark green lines. If you start around right the bottom and then like I said just kind of center it going up the pylon to the top.
So now you can see where these lines come in handy. They actually lay up that little green line that divides the two different colors of green. Also you're going to have a long green line along this side as shown on the modeler guide again and then what we'll do is when we set up these two pieces we'll just set them a little bit off of this line and that'll allow your mask for the dark green so we'll start on this side first okay we'll start right on the, on the bottom here and I want to leave a little line here to kind of match this intersection line along the center section just so I have a place to paint that dark green divide line And just run this up there. Oops. So if you do pull something off, just leave it on there. Tap it back down again. And it's right back where it was before. Alright, this side we're going to do the same thing. Start at the bottom. Leave that little line between the two. And just run all the way up the pylon. I'll probably include one of these in the kit just to match uh, this side. All right, so now you can spray your dark green. Those lines are done. You can clean the uh, cover that up. Okay, so that's all done. Um, we can go on to. Um, Step number two, I'm not going to get into that because you've kind of already saw it on the other side, but if you go to sheet 23, you're going to get the gray section, and uh, that's your gray section to cover up your lightning bolts on this side. And then once you're done that, you can move on to, sec to step three, putting all the gray back on, going to blue and going to green, and then that sets up uh, the inboard and the outboard pylons. All right, one other thing we forgot to mention on the pylons is I have set up on sheet number 12. I have masks to do the leading and trailing edge of the pylons. Um, the only thing I would suggest is probably do the clear coat on this or the clear mask. Um, you don't want these lines to spread apart. Lay them on top and at least that will keep all that nice and uh, tidy for you and that will allow you to paint uh, your blue and your black on your leading edges. All right, let's get to laying out the mask design for the neck. Uh, you're going to need your blue masks off sheet 15 and also the positioning sheet, which shows us how we're going to start to lay out the mask for the neck and also the paint, uh, the painting we're going to do on these two sections. All right, here's our first three uh, patterns we're going to lay out. We're going to lay out the center one first, just like we did on the pylon, and then the outboard ones either on either side. All right, the very first one. I'm gonna lay the lay this right along the bottom, right in between the two hall lines on the neck, and then move up to the top. Okay, and the second one, same thing. We'll start at the bottom, just off the hull off the hull lines on the bottom and moving up keeping the same kind of space through that third one same thing along the bottom and then we're going to run along this line and keeping our uh, line spacing up the side too so. So I'm just going to cut the clear so it rides in here. Okay, so there's this one line that runs right through here, this little guy right here. Just like on the pylons, if we remove this piece, that will set up your uh, green lines, your dark green lines that run around the centerpiece now on the Trek modeler uh, paint job. Same thing they're going to do here, they got different colors. The masks are laid out for that so you can get these lines in. Alright, let's get this centerpiece in. Alright, 
the center piece. We're going to start along the top edge. This is a little smaller of a piece. It's kind of positioned to match the one we did on the bottom. Press it in place. All right, the next one we're going to lay in is this one right in here. I'll get to these later. These uh, here, we're going to be doing some uh, different masking t for the painting that we've done, but uh, these ones are just Aztec patterns, so let's lay this guy up. We're going to start right on this corner and work our way along the top curve. Okay, there's a little kind of indent here, so we'll start right there and just along the top edge. And the one that's just on the top here, we might as well lay that one in. It's pretty much the same idea. All right, for this one, we'll start same place we started that one, right on the right on that edge, and we'll run right along this edge. All right, the next piece we're going to do is we're going to lay up this top piece in here. And that's these two mask levels. Now, if you remember from the deflector, how we installed masks on the deflector, and then we pulled a whole bunch of pieces off and just left the black pieces. Same process we're going to be doing here. I'm going to get this installed right here. Okay, we're going to lay this right over top of this one. like, And just to go back again, uh, we left left this on and then we painted everything a kind of a blue gray color. Now we place this mask over, right over top. All right, so you can see we've got, uh, you can see the dark blue, that's the mask we had below. Then we painted the uh, the uh, blue gray, laid this mask over top. Now we're gonna paint the dark gray. Then once you pull everything off, you're gonna end up with this kind of a pattern right in here. All right, we'll set this piece in. This one doesn't have to be weeded again. It just has to be placed in this area first. Press it down. Remove the clear. Okay, so once again, we're gonna remove all of the hatch line, which is pretty much all of the background, just keeping the squares in place. This corner's down. Okay. All right. Then you'll paint your light blue or your blue gray on there. And then the next piece would be this one right here. And what we need to do here is we need to again take these little guys off here. They're not needed. Um, being that this is a small piece, we're not even going to put the clear on it. We're just going to do this one by just eyeball this and see how it goes. Okay. Now one thing I found with doing mask on mask, if you put this, the piece we just laid on, if you had this down too far or had this over too far, you need to make an adjustment. Sometimes you can usually, I'm gonna try this on this one. 
And this works for any kind of mask on mask. Get a corner. Sometimes you can pull this off without removing the other mask. This one has a, the first mask has a better bite on the part. Yeah, see how that stays? So you can actually reposition this top one and not worry about it. Not worry about lifting the bottom one. Okay, that's that one. Okay, let's lay up this guy right in here. Again, there's gonna be a couple little masks for different painting uh, ideas. Okay, I have my three pieces here. We're gonna be adding right to this area right here. Let's get started. So start this right on the right on the hull line. And continue it all the way down. Okay, so on this one we want to remove the larger pieces. So again, like I said, once we've painted this, this whole area here gray, we're gonna put this mask on and then we're gonna paint the yellow. We'll just continue on the bottom one here. And the final one on the bottom. We're going to be pulling off this piece. This piece and this little piece here. So once again, now you're going to paint all that yellow, and then we're going to come back in with the next mask. Now this mask, we don't need to put the clear mastic on. This one we can just kind of lay it in. And like I said, the nice thing about this one is being that we're putting mask on mask, is if you get it wrong, you can peel it up without peeling the first mask off. Now you notice on this one, I. I took the squares, I weeded the squares off the off it so I didn't have to pick at the hull. But you can see what's going to happen here is now we've got, you can see the ones below and we've painted our yellow now we put this mask on and now like the Trek modeler guide shows, these are kind of a dark gray. And now you can actually paint these the dark gray because you have a mask over them. And then the last one. All right, well there you go, there's the next side done. Uh, there's a couple other pieces that are on here. I'll go over it with one side. I've only got one side of my neck done. I don't have the whole kit built, but you can kind of get an idea what's going on. So there's this one, this is the underside. So once you've got your neck done, that'll be the piece that'll float in there. And there's also this little triangular piece we can just lay in there, which really doesn't do much. I guess it just protects the paint and then this little piece will sit right on the uh, back corner across both hulls or both sections of the uh, neck. All right well there you go that's the neck done. Well again I hope these application videos are, will help you on setting your mask on your enterprise. Um, again got any questions or comments please give me a call we will get back to you with some answers. Also if you're working on a project and uh, you'd like to send me some photos I'd really be curious to see what you're working on. Um, and I guess we'll see you on another application video when we tackle another section of the Enterprise.